come and put the uh, pepper, onion, and basil in here. Okay, so our we gotta have these closer together so I can put some salt on them. Oh, huh. didn't realize what we were doing with them. That's all we're doing. Let them sit with a little salt. It's good to have counter space for some of this. Okay, so here's the idea, girls. We got the last of our spinach for the year. We cut our own basil um, and our summer squash and zucchini and everything is coming in like crazy. So we cut it on a mandolin and we'll make lasagna without noodles. We'll make lasagna with the zucchini. <laughs> you don't think you'll like that, I am. So for Aunt Susie, who is not how she fe not sure how she feels about butchering the meat chickens and stuff, you could do this as a vegetarian dish too. Okay, so we put our basil, onion, pepper, oregano, meat in here. We need one cup of red wine and the tomato paste open. So let's get going on that, and then M, we need to slice up these onions uh, so they're fine. Okay, go ahead. Why don't you tip it up? So, what have you got here? You got eggs and oregano? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and put the ricotta in and give it a stir. And then I have a whole tab. And just cut them a little finer. Why don't you use the big knife? So you can work a little more quickly. Yeah. Oh, the big knife helps. Well, if you stack through. If you lay them out, okay, then you take your big knife and you can work through them pretty quick here. Okay. Okay, you guys ready to start putting these together? Mm -hmm. All right, let's do one right here so we can make room on the edge of the counter. So we're gonna we're gonna do two of these because we'll freeze one. One is zucchini and one is yellow squash, so they're like your, your summer squash varieties. And then we have winter squash behind it too. Yeah, so here's... It'll be ready in the fall. So here's what we're going to do. Layer them. Like this? Yes. we got to do it so that we get two layers and enough for two, uh, two pans. Okay. It's fine. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just flap it in there and kind of spread it around. Get another. Get another gas from in there. Yeah. Oh, spinach. All right. So we'll put a little of our spinach in. Is that as much as we're gonna do? Since we have to do two. We just we want to do enough to cover and then enough to have for the next pan. So go ahead and... Oh, we're only doing one layer? Yeah, we don't have a lot of spinach left because it's the end of the growing season for spinach. All right, now we do another layer of squash. Yes. Yes. Okay, so now do zucchini. Should I get a big one right there? Just lay them in there. We can cut more zucchini if we need to. We have tons of... Squash. 
Did you guys see how big the zucchini was when I cut it? No. It was like that big. Okay, what's next? Mozzarella. Alright, open one up, put it on there. There's one open what? already. Oh. Fine, we're gonna use it all. So we are doing pre-cut, which um, Yamona generally frowns on. Yeah. But we have this in the freezer, so we're just gonna use it up. Right? Normally we would grate <laughs> grate it or get fresh, but yeah. we're we're cleaning out our stores. Okay, so rinse and repeat, right? Right. Okay. No, I still got like half of it. Okay. Go ahead and put it all on there. And oh, then, the yeah, go ahead. Use it up. And then we'll clean up while everything bakes. Okay, substitute for noodles? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. 